another box downstairs. We had to get six. <gasps> so yeah, welcome to Dixon Does It, and that's what we brought home. I warned you guys you were getting ducks. They're so cute. Did you want to see them? Let's go see them. Hey, ducky duckies! Hi! Hi! Beep, beep, beep! Alright, so if you look past the cuteness, you see the mess. Oh, that one's coughing. So, what happened was, we brought them home, and they were already sick. Because the living conditions were pretty bad at the store we bought them at. I'm not going to turn, I'm not going to say what store it was, because, you know, that's bad. But, and we were keeping them in a small tote, but we had to upgrade to a larger tote. And this thing's heavy, and we got to get it outside and wash it every day. You got to keep your birds clean. Um, they like pooping on each other. They like pooping over here, pooping over there. We got a nice heat lamp. Sometimes they're under the lamp. Sometimes they're not. Um, we've been feeding them peas. You know, they're a couple weeks old. We got them cheap because they were older, but they were open mouth breathing, coughing. Look, they even play with bird toys. They like playing. And they like their grandpa already. Come here. I pet you. I pet you. No. No. Do you want to bite me? Yeah, you want to bite me. I got, I got nothing for you. All right. So, in order to clean this thing out, you've got to take it outside. So this is what I'm working with. That is not a hose. That's an off, and it's not even connected on the inside. Here, I'll show you. So here's that line coming in, and it just stops. And it's metal, and it's probably corroded. So we're gonna swap that out today. There's even a shut off in here. There's a shut off inside and outside. I don't know what they were using it for. But, these ducks need to be cleaned out every day if you get ducks. They, you gotta clean them while they're brooding. Um, this is not a 101. We're living the 101. We right up on it and oh, well, I did this and that didn't work for me and this didn't work for me and then you know what? We're just going with the flow. We're just raising them like they're pets. And you know, it took two days to get them, you know, not afraid of us and now they're eating out of our hand. We've had them since Sunday, so it's now Thursday. And they love us, you know, and we love them. They're cute. Um, we've got an issue. We had to take them into the vet the very next day because two of them were open mouth breathing. And they gave them some antibiotics. So for all six of them, and you have to buy six of them. It's a farm animal. It's not a pet. So you have to buy, you know, whatever they tell you to. And we bought the, like I said, we bought the older ones because nobody wanted them. They all want the smaller chicks for some reason. But the older ones are in those coops and they're all huddled up together and one sick bird's gonna get the rest of them sick. So $200 later at the vet, we've got antibiotics for all six of them, which is giving them the squirts. So we got squirts going on all over the place and, you know, pooping on each other, but you know, they're farm animals. They're, they gotta get used to that. And if you don't like cleaning up poop and stuff, then th these animals aren't for you. They're, they're not cats, they're not dogs. So let's go, we're filling the tub. It's bath time. Let's go watch. You don't want to get sick. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go. In the tub. In the tub. I'm floating. I'm flying. I'm flying. You're swimming. I'm pooping. Look at the water. So the water we're making... Higher every day so they can learn how to swim and they don't drown because they don't have their feathers yet, so they're not very buoyant. But they'll get the zoomies and they'll start going. There they go. Oh, he went right under the water. But as cute as that is, The cuteness stops right here. Now that needs to be dragged outside. Everything needs to be cleaned. So what I've been doing in the meanwhile is dragging the hose in through the back door 
and hooking it up to the, the basin tub. So I'm going to get going on that and then we'll show you how to hook up that thing outside. Pipes out. Here's what we're going to be installing. This is called a frost free and it's coated in a lot of local places now. So what happens is when you turn this knob, it doesn't shut it off here outside where this could freeze and burst. When you turn this, it closes all the way back here inside the house. So whatever water you have left here can just dribble out, you know, and if it freezes, it's got room to come out. But back in here in the house, it won't freeze. And that way, you know, you don't have a lot of accidents. So this is the new thing on the market. It's in a lot of code books too. So if, this, if you see this at your local box store, think about putting that in. The cool thing about the ends of these are you can thread onto it, or you could put a half inch piece of copper in there and sweat it too. But you're gonna wanna take that rubber piece out. And maybe not, I mean, if you opened it up, I guess maybe. Maybe put a wet towel around right here where my hand is. If you're not new, if you're new to sweating, you know, copper and stuff. The issue I think I'm going to have is, when I pulled this pipe out, I cut this right at the base outside. And I had to pull a lot out. I think it ended here. And I don't think we have enough. So first I'm going to go see what it looks like outside, because I'm probably going to have to open that up to get this through. I may have to sweat this on. I didn't want to sweat it on, because I don't have a connector to go from half inch to three quarter just to get onto some pecs and bring it over. But I'll get it together, I'll show you what I ended up doing. All right, I got it through and I secured it outside and I'm running pecs off of it. Now if you run pecs, you have to secure it every three feet. That's code for where I am. Look at your local codes and talk to your you know, permit officer, get your permit and make sure, you know, you're doing it the way he wants to do it. Because if you do it the way he likes it, you make him happy, he'll pass you. I put a shutoff there. I don't like those push fit shutoffs, but that's all I have for today. So I'm going to test it with that. And if it works, I'm going to replace it with the PEX shutoff. And then I've got it running all the way down. I'm going to hook it up down there. Now, once I get that done, we can clean out the duck shed. So it's been a while since I put out a video. What have I been doing? Stuff like this. Putting up stuff that nobody's gonna see. You walk into the house, it still looks like I haven't done anything, but I've been doing electrical work, which is in the walls, it's in the floors, and all you see is outlets than where there were outlets. So everything's safe and everything's secure before I start painting and all the nice stuff to make this house look nice. You know, I gotta make it structurally sound. So. You guys might not see a lot of videos. Uh, I'll, I'll post more ducks because the ducks are cute. I like the ducks. But these are other things that I want to show you. If you're putting in outlets, look for code. These are tamper resistant outlets. I don't know how they're tamper resistant, but that's code these days. You're going to go to your orange box store, your blue box store, and your or your you know local hardware store, and you're going to find regular. Old, oh, I'm going to pay, you know, 95 cents for a regular garbage one. Well, that's not code anymore, so you really can't use them. And if you're going to be in a bathroom or a kitchen, anything that has water, you want to get one of these, GFCI. Sometimes, if you're running a new line, your breaker at the panel needs to be a GFCI breaker. So you might want to look that up. I did have to bust out the big guns, you know, the big paddle bit, and when that wasn't working, I went to the monster auger just to get that, you know, through the ceiling. And if you don't have the big guns like that, why not? Just go buy it. I mean, it feels nice to have a real tool in your hand. You know, if you pay $20, I like buying cheap tools, but if I'm going to use something every day as a professional, I'm going to use something that costs probably $200. And it lasts me five years every single day I'm using it. Not just here at home, but I'm using it, you know, on, on the job site. So you, you pay for what you get. So if you want a $20 chainsaw, buy a $20 chainsaw. It's been working for me, but 
when it dies, I'm going to say, eh, I got my use out of it. I'm not a tree cutter, so, you know, I'll pay 20 bucks for that. But a screw gun, yeah, I'm, I'm going to pay for a screw gun. It comes with, you know, the good warranty and everything like that. But you guys don't want to hear about tools. You want to see ducks. Quiet, they're sleeping. Oh, they're not sleeping. I spooked them. Hi, guys. Grandpa gave them some hay for the first time. They got to get used to the hay, because when they go outside, they're not going to have these wood chips. They're going to have hay. Did you guys like your bath? Oh, stretching out. Stretch out. They're all nice and fluffy after their bath. And their water's already dirty. Half an hour later. Alright, I'll leave you guys alone. I got work to do. That's it for this episode, the Duck Quack Quack episode. Give me a like and a subscribe. You know, even just a like. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to. You know, I've got a lot of subscriptions out there that, you know, I don't even watch half of them. But, you know, we'll see more ducks. Yay for the ducks. Like for the ducks. Yay. Peace out, y'all.